getting a new gaming laptop is exciting. Figuring out setting it up though, well, that can be a different story. So you can focus on enjoying your games ASAP. Give this video a watch as I take you through the quickest ways to set up your new device and make sure it's ready for gaming. So here is my device fresh out the box. Before I start setting this up though, it's a good idea to plug your new device in and give it a good charge before booting it up for the first time to ensure that it's ready to go. While I'm doing that, let's talk about backing up your old device. Probably one of the most time consuming parts of setting up a new laptop can be transferring any files and documents or just setting up all the small things like inputting passwords or re-downloading your most used apps. But we can take away some of that pain with sorting out Windows backup. This laptop is Windows 10 and I'm moving to a Windows 11 device, but that's fine because Windows backup works across both. In the search bar, type Windows Backup, then select the app when it appears. Make sure you're logged in with your Microsoft account if you're not already. And if you don't have a Microsoft account, it's a great idea to make one now as you will need one anyway for your Windows 11 device setup. Then it's time to look through each option for backing up your PC. You can back up your folders, apps, user settings and credentials. Just choose what will be right for you on this new PC but selecting everything may not be necessary if it's just going to take up space. Then just hit backup and let Windows Backup do its thing. This should take a few minutes, but it will depend on how much stuff you're wanting to bring over. Just as a heads up, you get five gigabytes free backup space with OneDrive with every Microsoft account, but this can increase to one terabyte per person if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, which should already be linked to your Microsoft account if you have it. Once it's done, you can close the app and it's time to move to the new PC so we can start setting it up. Now we're setting up a Windows 11 laptop here, which is gonna be the case for you too if you've brought your laptop recently as brand new gaming laptops will be sold with Windows 11 pre-installed. If you're used to Windows 10, you might be wondering if you could just install Windows 10 on this device instead but I wouldn't recommend it. Windows 11 is 100% worth embracing if you're buying a new laptop, as not only does it have great features built in for gaming, but also support for Windows 10 is ending on October 14th, 2025 anyway. This means Windows 10 devices will be far less secure and will no longer get important updates. If you wanna find out more about what Windows 11 offers in terms of gaming features and why it wins, be sure to check out this video right here. So to start setting up, just power up the device now it's charged and it's time to head through setup instructions. You'll be asked to set preferences like region and language as well as Wi-Fi settings. It's a requirement to be connected to the internet to set up your Windows 11 device. So it's a good idea to make sure you are somewhere with an internet connection before you start. Then sign in with that same Microsoft account you used for Windows backup earlier. If you don't use the same Microsoft account, you won't be able to recover that backup. So make sure to double check if you need to. Then you'll be presented with a screen asking you to restore your PC from backup. Select continue and then just complete the remaining steps to set up your new PC. Okay, so initial setup done. And you should immediately notice that your setup looks similar to how you had it before. All your files will appear exactly where they were in File Explorer apps will be pinned to the taskbar if they were pinned previously, and all your preferences will remain intact, including any settings that you may have for accessibility needs. The next thing I would recommend is checking for updates across your device. While Windows 11 will download most updates during setup, it's still best to double check and some updates won't pull through until others are downloaded. You always wanna make sure that Windows 11 has everything it needs to run smoothly, such as any important security updates before you start making other changes. To check this, just search update in the search bar to bring up the Windows update settings. Hit check for updates and as long as you have an internet connection, anything new will pull through. Wait until all downloads are complete before hitting the restart option if it's presented, just to save you from doing multiple restarts. Next, let's check all our apps are updated. There are various apps that are built into Windows that are great for gamers, such as the Xbox app, and many brands also have an application for their control panels. So this can be an important step. Head into the Microsoft Store, 
click downloads and then just hit get upgrades and install. Last set of updates now, I promise. You wanna make sure your dedicated graphics card is always running at its very best. So it's good practice to ensure that your graphics card drivers are up to date. Windows Update might have already installed a newer graphics driver, but let's check anyway, just in case. Right click on the Start menu button and select Device Manager from the list. Double click the Display Adapters category to expand the list and select your graphics card. It may be listed under names such as Intel, Nvidia GeForce or AMD Radeon. Right click on your graphics card and select Update Driver. Then click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will then search online for the latest driver software. Follow any on-screen prompts and allow Windows to install the updated driver. Once completed, you might be prompted to restart your PC. All right, updates are done. Now it's time to make sure we're getting the most out of our PC performance-wise by checking some settings. First, let's check we're using our screen to the best of its ability by checking the resolution and refresh rate. Right-click the desktop and hit display settings. Scroll down to display resolution and make sure it's on the highest one that's comfortable for you. Then scroll down further to hit advanced display and where it says choose refresh rate, change it to the highest your laptop allows. Higher refresh rates are essential, especially in competitive online games like Call of Duty, where every shot counts, as lower refresh rates can make games seem more blurry or slower to react. Speaking of ensuring you're always getting the most, let's check performance setting next. Most PCs are designed to automatically be in a balanced mode between power use and performance. If you don't mind sacrificing some of this balance, especially if you're gonna have the device plugged in 90% of the time, then change these settings. Head to settings, system, and then power and battery. Hit the drop down by power mode and select best performance. You may have the option to do this when plugged in and when on battery. But just be mindful, if you do it for when on battery, this will likely significantly reduce your battery life. While we're here in battery settings, it's also a good time to mention smart charging. Most Windows 11 devices can now be set or will automatically be set to charge to just 80% rather than 100%, even when they're plugged in for extended periods. Lithium ion batteries wear out over time, which can result in a battery not holding a charge for as long as it did when it was new. Keeping the battery charged 100% all the time can cause it to deteriorate faster. Smart charging helps with this by automatically stopping that charging at 80%. Smart charging settings do vary from brand to brand, so it's good to check your device-specific control panel, like ASUS's one here, the device manufacturer's website, or the device manual. If your gaming laptop does have a device-specific control panel, it's also a good idea to check here too for any more performance settings, such as prioritizing the dedicated GPU, more screen settings, or more power efficiency settings. These will all vary by manufacturer though, so check yours out to see what yours can do. Now you wanna probably ensure your new expensive device is secure, right? So do you need to start installing antivirus? Well, that honestly depends on your personal preferences, but Windows 11 devices are secure straight out of the box, so it may not be a pressing concern. Windows Defender is more than enough protection for the average person with antivirus, firewall protection, app protection, and identity protection built in. On identity protection, if you didn't set up Windows Hello during initial setup, now is a great time to do it, as it means you can use your face or fingerprint to sign in every time rather than a password. Head to settings and accounts and hit sign in options. Then hit facial recognition or fingerprint recognition and follow the setup steps. The last thing I would recommend doing is just a quick performance check to make sure you're happy with the numbers. The way I find most convenient is just to hit the Windows key and G on my keyboard to bring up Game Bar. Game Bar has a lot of helpful features like audio mixing and screen capture. But what I want is down in this bottom left, which is the performance data. Here I can see exactly how my CPU, GPU and RAM are all doing and I can even move this around and pin so that it appears in a more transparent state on my desktop when I close Game Bar. And that's it! Setup's now done, so it's time to start gaming. For more PC tips and feature content, be sure to hit subscribe and like this video if you liked it. That's it from me though today, see you soon.